Trade Transparency Project aimed to make trade data, which is publicly available, simpler and easier to understand. Welcome to our, our app bootcamp. Today is the start of what I consider a special day. We did hack days, which are basically you get coders and developers into a room and you ask them to make sense of the data and try to come up with graphics or visualizations that might work to help ordinary people understand the data better. Even though I can read and I can add it with understanding, I still don't understand what's happening here. As part of this project, we've run three hack days, one in Cape Town, that's already happened in early September, one in Lagos, which is happening now, and one here in London. We did the hack days in three different locations uh, to get different perspectives from people depending on how it would make sense for them to use the data in their country. The best way to probably design technology is to hack it because the best way for tech to figure out how technology fits in with people is to give it to people. One of the best things was the whole different point of views because mm. it's not like we just go to this wonderful solution. From each location we've got two or three applications for that can either be mobile or online. We'll be developing them further and they'll be out in the world for people to use. What about our ordinary guys that walk on the street that do not have smartphones? How are we catering for them as well? I mean, we all sort of take it for, for, for granted that most people in their, in their pockets have some kind of supercomputer. The part of the society that, that still carry phones, that, that feature phones or dumb phones, this guys still have SMS on them anyways. So because of the penetration of mobile, uh, I think it's a lot easier now. Uh, getting more people aware actually depend on mobile. So if people learn more about trade, yeah. how would it change their behaviour? We hope with this application, when the next time comes for, the next opportunity comes for them to vote, they won't be looking at shoes or military background or things like that. They'll actually be looking at the issues that affect them. People can now put pressure more based on their own enlightened self-interest. That they say, even when they go to a government meeting yeah. in these rural villages, yeah. the officials, that they say, well, you know, but this is the information that we have on our mobile phone. Wow. Now, all of a sudden, they're not being questioned. And, and somehow that digitization of the information has equipped and empowered them, but also increased the, the voice. So. Yeah, I was a bit nervous in the beginning about what will people make of this data and are they going to do anything with it. The tools and graphics that we developed in each of the locations were context specific as well as had a surprising number of common themes and you get lots of unexpected things like a need for trade board game. It is an experiment but I'd call it a successful experiment.